Well, we're back in Ghana, where the Minister of State for Finance, Charles Edubohin, has been fired. President Nana Kufo Addo took his decision after allegations of impropriety were circulated by a well-known Ghanaian investigative journalist. The president fired Mr. Dubohain after being made aware of allegations levelled against him in an exposed report. The statement from the presidency adds that Akufo Addo had also referred the matter to the special prosecutor for further investigations. Journalist Kodo Yangsin is live for us from Ghana. You were talking to us earlier about the nature of this um, indictment from the investigative journalist. Yes. Now, uh, Anas Aremi Awanas is a globally renowned investigative journalist. He's known for covering his face with a veil, but also for uncovering acts of corruption. In this latest work, he reveals uh, a video of a conversation between the Minister of State for Finance, Charles Edubwahin, and uh, a sheikh who happens to be an undercover journalist working for Anas's Tiger Eye private investigations. Now, in this conversation, Charles Edubwahin is heard offering access to the vice president of Ghana as a facilitator for a $500 million investment that this sheikh purportedly wants to make in Ghana. He says, Mr. Edubwahin says, that the sheikh can offer the vice president $200,000 as an appearance fee in order to get his support for this investment to go ahead. He, Charles Edubwahin, also says he will charge 20% of the $500 million value of the contract as his own facilitation fee, which uh, amounts to about 100 million US dollars. Now, all of this is captured in the video, which has now obviously sparked a lot of controversy. Charles Edubwahin, as a minister, was already at the center of a storm because he was accused of conflict of interest um, by the he was accused of conflict of interest uh, by the parliament of ghana because a company that he owns makes profit every time the government of ghana borrows on the eurobond market Indeed. so i hear you mr yaxin we also this, hear that the 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 country's finance minister, uh, uh, Ken Oforiata, is also facing calls for dismissal uh, from members of the parliament. But how much damage is this doing uh, for the Akufo Addo presidency? Uh, because we've been reporting some protests in Ghana uh, as um, asking him to step down in the face of the economic crisis. These are big blows to the reputation of the president's administration. Uh, this just feeds into the narrative that his critics have been putting out, that this presidency is corrupt. And fortunately, the evidence gathered by Anas uh, just goes further to suggest that indeed, there are members of this government who are not above uh, taking bribes in order to bring in investors into the country. Koyu Yaksen, a Ghanaian journalist, live for us on the News at 10. Thank you for talking to us.